Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For all my new subscribers, welcome. I'll just give a quick introduction. My name is Nakari Griffiths. I am a self-published author, magazine publisher, and I have my own publishing company. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So after four years of having my books out there in the world, I've just taken the steps to get my books into stores and I now have my books sold in over six bookstores and counting. So today I'm going to be teaching you how you can also achieve the same goal. Now this is for people that want to sell their books in print as well as digitally or just in print. So I offer both for mine. And I print my books through Ingram Spark. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about my experience with that as well. So printing with Ingram Spark, I find that they're really slow and they don't have a phone number to call either, which really sucks and can make things move a lot slower. They haven't responded to any of my emails lately, so that's really hard as well. So overall, I'm not having a great experience with them at the current moment, but overall, they're printing quality of books is really good but you do have to know exactly what you're doing like in terms of you need to get someone to format your book, someone to design the cover to the exact specifications that you need because Ingram Spark won't help you at all and they will charge you $25 every time that you want to revise a file. Kind of breaks the bank every time you want to make a little change so either find a discount code which I haven't been able to find one. I did have one for my other revisions but just now I've come across that there's no active coupon codes that I can find. Anyway so moving on from that I'll go into my steps of how I got my books into into stores and I just wanted to quickly mention as well that I have some templates that you can use for contacting stores just on what to say to them, the questions to ask all the things that I have found when I've been approaching stores in conversation with them over email and the phone what kind of things they ask you that you kind of just need to know so that template is on my patreon so the link will be down below I also have a bunch of other useful templates book templates for different book sizes and covers and a list of contacts as well a list of bookstores that I have compiled that do take independently published books so Please check out my Patreon, I've got tons of useful information on there. So the first step is to have a good eye-catching cover. So there are some great cover designers out there and I can link some down below that I have personally worked with that are quite affordable and will get the job done. So you don't need to go out and pay, pay hundreds of dollars by any means for a cover designer. So I know there's a lot of agencies out there that have like a backup of a year for when they will design your cover because they have so many clients and whatever and they charge like a thousand dollars a cover. You absolutely do not need to do that. That is outrageous and not necessary at all. Another tip I have is that if you are just doing digital, you can actually design your cover on Canva and that is free. At the most, some covers to download it cost a dollar, but that's it. Well worth it, but when it comes to printing your books you need a spine and a back cover and sure you can do a back cover on Canva but you can't do a spine so keep that in mind. I personally find my book cover designers is Fiverr and I will, again I will link that down below but they are basically independent contracting people so they freelance out. You pick a designer based off the work that you like that they've done previously you will pay for the package that have different prices on there and then you can send them what you require of them for your book cover your ideas any inspirational images anything like that and you can work with them to get your cover finished as for formatting you want to have your book formatted so this is very important to look professional i personally found my formatter on freelancer.com and I will link him down below because he does a great job for a really affordable price. I think he charges me maximum $50 per book and he make sure, makes sure that the book is formatted correctly and prints beautifully. It doesn't, the words don't run off the pages or get cut off, everything like that. And again though, I have on my Patreon the three most common book sizes that your book will need to be formatted in. So if you go and download any of those, you can copy and paste your book in there or you can start writing your book into that document and then your book will be properly formatted. 
and that will also cost you less money than going and finding a freelancer because you can just pay my Patreon fee per month. So my next tip is to have a company logo and your own publishing company. So on my book, which I'll put up here so you can kind of see my company logo, I have created a publishing company, which sounds more scary than it is. I'll pop some videos down below of how to set that up. It's not a big deal at all. You can just have like your name, say if I had my name, Nakari Griffiths Publishing Company or whatever you want to make it. You just have to register that with a business number. And I actually made my logo on Canva as well. So it was free, super easy. And I had the cover designer put it onto the cover and it just looks a lot more professional. And when you approach stores, most of the time they will ask you to who's your publisher or if you're independently published, they just wanna make sure that you have a really professional cover. So this can definitely help. And I think that that is what helped push my books into bookstores. My next tip is to not be afraid to approach bookstores. So it sounds so scary, but if you have the right technique in approaching stores, it's quite easy. So what I did was I came up with a template of what I wanted to say to the stores. And then I put the synopsis of each one of my books along with a picture and a bit about myself. Yeah, and then I just said I am a local author. I would love to stock my book in your store. I understand if you, this needs to be on a consignment basis because a lot of stores will take your books on consignment, which just means that upfront, you just pay for the book and give it to them. You set a price of what you want the book to sell for and then they'll sell it. When it sells, they give you the money. What I've found also is that with most bookstores, they want a percentage and they say, all of them say that this is quite normal. So say they'll get 40% of the profits, you get 60%. So just keep that in mind as well. Also, what I say in the email, it's good to have an idea of how much you want to sell the book for. That if you already have your books in a store, let them know that because it sounds more professional also. So once I had gotten the first my books in the first store, from then on I said say dear da, 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 whatever the store name is i would love to have my books in your store i currently currently my book is sold in da, 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 bookstore name so yeah that just helps a bit as well because they know that other stores trust you so they can as well um another thing that the bookstores are asking me pretty much every bookstore so far has asked me this to sign your books because then they can put like a signed by author sticker on the book and it just also entices readers to buy it and then you can charge a little bit more as well because it is signed now i just want to make a quick announcement also that i'm actually currently writing a course or well, two courses one is how to self-publish your book from idea to publication and then the next course is for my magazine viewers so how to start your own magazine from start to publication and both of these courses are going to have awesome things in it like a list of contacts to get you started in the industry editing tips formatting idea planning character building and a bunch of awesome things like that so i will make sure to keep you guys updated when the courses are finished but i'm currently working on building them and i'm really really excited and they will be available on teachable they are my tips to getting your book into stores and at the current moment i think i have six bookstores that I'm sending my books out to so that's very exciting and I'm excited to take the next step in my career and getting my book out into the world so I hope you enjoyed it and please comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any videos that you would like me to make and again all my links are in the description so thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one